anticipation of the COVID-19 fourth wave and its new variant of concern, Omicron, government has leaped to action to arrest the spread of the disease in the country. Health Minister Sylvia Masebo a few days ago announced numerous measures that included people seeking access to government offices to have proof of vaccination, a situation that has drawn mixed feelings. But Ms. Masebo has clarified that government is not compelling anyone to get vaccinated against their will. Any of these health measures that we are putting in place are not about taking away their rights, no. They are not about forcing somebody to be vaccinated against their will, no. They are about taking decisions that may just be our saviour. It's about caring about the people. The health minister says government will continue assessing the situation and engaging various stakeholders to determine the best way to handle the imminent threat of the fourth wave. Meanwhile, Zambia National Public Health Institute Director General Victor Mukonka has reiterated that the vaccines are safe and effective. Ministry of Health Infectious Diseases Director Lloyd Mulenga says some Zambians who traveled to South Africa and tested positive upon return are under observation to determine the type of COVID-19 variant. They were symptomatic, so we had to give them uh, some uh, monoclonal antibodies to prevent them from having any severe disease. Uh, two of them are fully vaccinated, whereas one of them is not uh, vaccinated. Presidential advisor on COVID-19, Roma Chilengi, made a passionate appeal to Zambians on the need to get vaccinated. For infectious diseases like COVID, we know that um, to attain herd immunity, you need to protect not less than 60 to 70 percent of your target population. Okay? And if you don't achieve herd immunity at population level, you will not offer communal protection. Sharon Kunda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.